You said that you spent your whole life dreaming about space and also pondering the big existential question of whether there is or isn't intelligent life, intelligent alien civilizations out there. So what do you think? Do you think there's life out there? Intelligent life? Intelligent life. That's trickier. I I think looking at, you know, the the likelihood of a self-replicating organism given how much time the universe has ex- existed and how many stars with planets, I think it's likely that there's other life, intelligent life. I'm hopeful, you know, I'm a little discouraged that we haven't yet been in touch. Uh, allegedly, I mean, do you, it's on also- the, in, in our dimensions and right. so on, yeah. It's also possible that uh, they have been in touch and we just haven't, we're too dumb to realize they're communicating with us in whichever it's the it's this Carl Sagan idea that they may be communicating on a time scale that's totally different. Like the, their yeah. signals are on a totally different time scale or on a like a totally different kind of medium of communication. It could be it could be our own it could be the birth of like human beings like that the, the whatever the magic that makes us who we are, the collective intelligence thing. That could be aliens themselves. That could be the medium of communication. Like the nature of our consciousness and intelligence itself is the medium of communication. And, and we, like being able to ask the questions right. themselves. I've never thought of it that way. Like actually, yeah, asking the question yeah. whether aliens exist might be the very medium by which they communicate. It's like they, they send questions. So some of this like collective emergent behavior is, is the signal. Is the signal, yeah. <laughs> so that's interesting, I, yeah. Because yeah. maybe that's how we would communicate with, if you think about it, if we were way, way, way smarter, like a thousand years from now, we somehow survive, like how would we actually communicate? In a way that's like, if we broadcast the signal, you know, and then it could somehow like percolate throughout the universe, like that signal having an impact Multiverse. on- Multiverse. Multiverse, of course, <laughs> uh, that would have a signal, uh, uh, an effect on the most possible, the most, the highest mm. number of possible civilizations. What would that signal be? It might not be like sending a few, like, stupid little hello world messages. It might be something more impactful. Where it's almost like impactful in a way where they don't have to have the capability to hear it. It like forces the message to have an impact. Right. My train of thought has never gone gone there, Good. but I like it. Okay. And also somewhere in there, I think it's implied that something travels faster than the speed of light, which I'm also really hopeful for. Oh, you're hopeful. Are, are you excited by the possibility that there's intelligent life out there? Sort of you work on on the engineering side of things, it's this very kind of focused pursuit of uh, moving things through space efficiently. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you zoom out, one of the cool things that this enables us to do is find, well, forget even an intelligent life, just life on Mars or in Europa or something like that. Does that excite you? Does that scare you? Oh, it's very exciting. I mean, it's the whole reason I went into the field I'm in is to contribute to building the body of knowledge that we have as a species. Um, so very exciting. 